Hi, this is Vinny Tartamella, and I'm a former lead designer for McFarland Toys. I've done stuff for Toy Biz, uh, for Diamond Select. I'm also the owner of my own comic book company, Mellow Art World. The books you see here, uh, they're all mine. I've, uh, I'm either the co-creator or the creator on these, but I'm the artist on all this stuff. Please stay tuned for the end of the video to find out on how to get these. Today we're going to be reviewing Joker from uh, SW Toys. Uh, this is also a third party figure. Um, Hot Toys, they never did this one yet, but there's been a couple of different companies uh, that did make third party Jokers. This is uh, Joaquin Phoenix from his Oscar winning performance. Um, but yeah, we're, we're going to be going over this, the pros and cons about it. Uh, and this, yeah, out of all the ones that came out, um, this is one I was leaning towards. Um, I like the price on it. Uh, I think it was, he was like 130 bucks, something like that, uh, when he came out. So here's the figure straight up and down. Um, but yeah, I, I, I think this is a really cool piece. Um, yeah, there are a lot of, like I said, there's like three or four other companies. I, I believe that made them in all different versions of them. But, uh, this one, um, I, I really dig the, um, the upper half looks a little thick, I think, just because of kind of how the clothes are. Because uh, we know in the movie he was super thin. But other than that, you could probably even replace the body with like a, a Fison one uh, that's thinner. And you have way more um, flexibility and all that kind of stuff, uh, articulation-wise. But um, yeah, I had no problem with this. I had this guy for a couple of years now. Here's everything he comes with. Um, so yeah, he comes with the mask in the movie. The one that he used when he was uh, getting away from the cops. Uh, pretty nicely done. Although that green hair, uh, you got to be careful because it, it could come off pretty easily. But a nice paint application on it. Uh, he comes with these flowers. Um, a metal kind of bendy wire. So not too bad on that. He does come with a gun. Uh, I do think this is too small. I realize it's, it's supposed to be like a 22, but... Um, it feels extra small in his hand, but, uh, it is nicely sculpted. Good paint job on it. Uh, the barrel turns, so not too bad. And he does come with a cigarette since, uh, he did a lot of smoking in the movie. But yeah, I just kind of fit it between the fingers and, uh, yeah, and it holds nicely. So pretty good there. And he does come with a bunch of hands now, uh, they're nicely sculpted. I'm sure they're just recast from, from other figures, but they're shiny. That's the one gripe I had with that. But um, I, I don't go too crazy about it because I have, even from the same company, uh, other figures, and you could just replace the hands. Here's a nice uh, close-up of the figure. Um, I think the portrait's fantastic on this. You know, paint applications are really nice. Very cool. The clothes, again, they're nicely tailored to them. They fit really well. They even gave them socks. The sculpt work on the, uh, on the shoes are really nice as well. Yeah, it, I think they did a, nice, a very nice job with this figure. Yeah, you can see he's got treads on the bottom as well. Fairly simple, but they work. You know, he's got a lining on the inside as well. Uh, and that's Velcro. For the um, for the vest, even as buttons, and he comes with extra buttons as well. So if you do lose one, you could just glue them back on. But yeah, look at the sculpt work in the hair, really well done. All in all, great piece. And for articulation, he's got a, a nice range of motion, side to side, down, up. Um, his shoulders butterfly in and out. Uh, good ball joint in there. He also has bicep cut. He's got a um, double hinge in the elbow. And he does have the standard 1-6 scale uh, wrist peg. Uh, but kind of like the ball joint thing going on in there. So it's a uh, swivel and, and pin. Um, nice range of motion for the uh, midsection. So you can crouch over pretty well. Back pretty far. Again, good, good ball joint side to side. Legs have a great range of motion as well. They go up pretty far. Back is hindered because of the, the butt of the actual figure. Um, the stanchion, you get pretty wide. You don't have to go super wide, no splits needed. Double hinge um, 
for the knee and great articulation in the ankle. Yeah, I'll also swivel in the upper thigh as well. So there's gonna be a couple of different poses just so uh, you can see what you can get them in. But um, yeah, I, I think he's he's really accurate to uh, to how Joaquin was in the movie. Um, again, I, I dig it, I really do. My, my only issue, if any, is that maybe the upper half looks a little too thick, but again, it's because of the shirt, the jacket, you know, he's got like three layers on basically. But um, yeah, it's a cool piece though, especially for third party. You know, if it's Hot Toys, yeah, you're expecting something a little different. But for a third-party figure, uh, I think they nailed it. Like, look at that pose. That, that's fantastic. You know, you could, you could almost picture him dancing on the steps. So, uh, yeah, again, I think it's pretty cool. There's some people who hate this version. They prefer the other different companies better. Um, but for what it was and, you know, uh, I, I found it a pretty good deal. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty satisfied with it. Uh, and again, I'm a big fan of the movie too. So um, yeah, my, my biggest issues again would probably be the shiny hands, but you could easily replace them. After these after this video, I actually ended up doing that. Um, I took one of the Resident Evil ones and I just swapped out the hands. They had the same exact gripping hands. Oh, one correction. No, you can't swap them out with the Fison because of the neck. His, his actually sculpted all the way down to the collar. Uh, I forgot to say that earlier, but um, I'm sure you could find another another figure um, that has like the um, similar type of body just that's a little bit thinner. I know they're out there, but uh, yeah, that's again, if you have any issues with it, I don't. I think it's fine. Um, but yeah, uh, again, pretty cool piece. Uh, some minor issues here and there, but uh, yeah, I hope you guys dig it. And for scale here, he is next to that uh, really awesome dog again, the John Wick one. But um, yeah, guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed this this review. Um, and please be sure to stay tuned for the end of the video. Check out my other projects. Uh, Shadow of the Kraken is my newest one. It's currently up on Indiegogo as well. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm working very hard to give you guys the best story on that. Um, but yeah, um, I'll be back with more uh, videos and reviews and live streams and stuff. Uh, but everyone, I hope you guys have a great weekend. Be kind to one another, but kick ass while you create. Hi, this is Vinny Tartamella, and uh, we have Through the Woods, hardcover book, written by Frankie Tartamella. Uh, all the artwork is done by me. It's a beautiful hardcover book. Let's take a look at this fantastic artwork. This is 98 pages, ghost story. Uh, I think everyone's going to love this thing. It's amazing. And uh, yeah, we have another fantastic project here, City of Venus. I wrote this one. I did all the artwork on it. Uh, another fantastic project. Uh, I'm going to be putting a link in the description to all the videos. And uh, yeah, so please check this one out. And uh, thank you very much. Both of these books are available right now and they ship immediately. So uh, yeah, take a look at the size difference as well. Uh, one's more in a European format and the other one's like a standard comic book. And uh, we also have two uh, beautiful art books here, volume one and two. Uh, these are 52 pages each. And it just has just a whole bunch of different stuff in here from uh, your favorite characters, uh, pinups. Um, yeah, pretty much everything and the kitchen sink. So uh, yeah, these are also available and they're on the City of Venus campaign.